Hello, hi guys, it's Enam here with the Moto 360 second generation and I'm going to show you in this video how you can use your Android Wear smart device to pair it up with your Android powered smartphone and use this as a remote camera shutter button. So first of all, I'm using the G4 here. Head on over into the Play Store and download an application called Wear Camera. As you can see there, that top of blue one, it's completely free, doesn't cost you a single penny. And once you've got that downloaded and installed, make sure your watch is paired up with your handset. Now, look what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna load up the camera application. I'm just gonna leave it as it is and then prop up my camera here. Now what we're gonna do is from our smartwatch, go into the applications and you may already see an application on here called a remote shutter. And if I can just find it, I'll show you. There you go, remote shutter. And you may be wondering what's the difference between this and the camera app that we've just downloaded. Well, the difference is you have to already go into the camera application on your phone. Once you're ready to take the photograph, then you go into this remote shutter application and press the button for it to take the photograph. It doesn't cycle between cameras either. So you can't switch between front or back uh, and such like. But with the application that we've just downloaded, open it up from your watch and your watch then loads the camera application onto the smartwatch, which is pretty cool. And you can see this is the rear facing camera on my G4. It's looking that way. And you can see Buzz Lightyear and some stuff on my desk there. It's pretty heavily pixelated as you'd expect on the smartwatch, but the quality is still there from the G4. It's just to give you an indication of what kind of things you're looking at. So if I want to take a photograph, you can hear the shutter sound there and it's taken a photograph. Now you can also cycle views here. So, um, whoops, that didn't work. There we go cycle across to the front facing camera and you can see along the other side here we've got Iron Man and a couple of other little figurines here which is pretty cool I'm gonna take a photograph and as you can see it's pretty pixelated but it's just to give you an indication of what you can see from here you can also turn the flash off turn it on but because we're on the front facing camera there's obviously no flash on this device so we'll switch around so we're now looking at the rear facing camera there and we'll use the flash there we go and now let's see if we can see the flash in the background how cool is that pretty pixelated but it's just to give you an, uh, an idea even of what the viewfinder can actually see a little bit more intuitive than the remote shutter app and uh, more functions as well being able to control the flash switching between the cameras and this is all over bluetooth 4.0 so you could do this over a number of meters with a no lag whatsoever just what we've just seen there's about a second or so from when you tap the button on the screen here and it takes a photo but if you've got lots of uh, people in a photograph and you just want to see if everyone's in there this app can certainly come in handy so if we just come out of this and I'll bring in the G4 here so if we head on over into the gallery to see what uh, we've just taken a photograph of let's go in here and you can see there we go the other side of my desk buzz light here with the flash and some stuff there and again this is uh, the other camera here same great quality that we've known from the g4 whoops Ooh, that was without the flash even sorry so yeah same great quality from the g4 but through the Moto 360's remote wear camera application, which you can get absolutely free from the Android Play Store. As ever, any comments or questions you guys have got, hit them up in the comment section down below there. Please like, subscribe, and tag along on social media at Inam Thanks for watching, have a wicked day, and I'll see you next time.